What's going on, boxing fans? Boxing fans! Jason Loy here with 10 Count Boxing News, coming at you with some great news, man. We got a great heavyweight showdown coming up for you on uh, November 28th, 2020. Long awaited showdown with the dynamite Daniel Dubois versus the big juggernaut Joe Joyce. It's going to be a great heavyweight slugfest. These are some big dudes, both undefeated. These guys are killers, man. They are humongous. They can both throw down. They both got great knockout power. Um, we can probably go over the tail of the tape for you and just take a, a dive into what these guys are all about, man. So who do we got first coming up? We got Daniel Dubois, big dude, man. He's six foot five. He fights at about 240 pounds. He's 15 and 0 with 14 big knockouts, man. This guy, he's got power. He's, uh, he's got some real skills. He's got a great jab, great movement. He's been fighting since he was nine years old, man. He's a, uh, he is a youngster right now. He's only 23 years old. Um, great, great fighter. He's been the British heavyweight champion. Uh, you know, uh, legend has it, and, and this has been confirmed by uh, Dynamite Daniel Dubois, that he dropped Anthony Joshua in sparring. No joke, man. He, uh, you could look it up. The dude said that he dropped him like a rock. I've heard that uh, AJ was actually knocked out, but I can't confirm that. And I would hate to report something that's like not true. But uh, his biggest win probably to date might be over uh, Nathan Gorman. And currently, Daniel Dubois is uh, ranked number two by the WBO in the heavyweight division. Um, he's got great power. Um, He's got a good reach, 78-inch uh, reach. Um, I believe Joe's is a, is a little bit longer, but we'll go over that here in just a second. Um, like I say, man, he's 15-0, 14 KOs, and this kid could throw down. He's been fighting since he was 9 years old, and like I say, he's 23 years old right now. He's a little bit young, but uh, he come up strong, and he's taking everybody out. And, uh, you know, I believe that he's coming after AJ. He's coming after Tyson Fury. He wants some belts. Uh, he wants to be undisputed. And, and that's just something that, uh, you know, when a guy just wants to be the champ and he's determined, then he might just end up in that place. But uh, right now he's got a big problem. He's got, he's got a big dude that he's got to face. Matter of fact, they call him the big juggernaut. And, his, and it's the one Joe Joyce. And this guy right here, man, uh, he's he's only 11 and 0 right now. He does have 10 KOs, but he's a bigger dude than uh, Daniel Dubois is. Man, he's six foot six inches. He fights about 256 to 270 pounds. That's that's about uh, the uh, you know the highs and lows that he fights at in the heavyweight division. Uh, he is 35 years old right now. He started boxing at 22, so he's been he's been boxing for 13 years now. And uh, he's had to come up slowly. Uh, you know, Daniel has a big promoter uh, that's been promoting him and baby boying him all the way up. But he's been uh, he's been fighting some tough competition. Daniel Dubois is, and Joe Joyce as well. Uh, he's he knows that he has limited time in the heavyweight division. He wants to take a crown before he uh, you know he's just too old to, to get down on the game. Uh, he's got some big wins uh, uh, out there. He's got one over Bryant Jennings, which is a great fighter. Uh, also, the former heavyweight champion, Bermin Stavern. Uh, he, I believe he knocked him out. Um, what does this guy got, man? He's got, he's, got a, he's got a lot of power. He's got a lot of power. He's a really, really big dude. Um, he's got an 80 and a half inch reach advantage, which is a couple of inches, uh, maybe two and a half inches over Daniel Dubois. And, uh, you know... Uh, this guy can really slug. He loves to just come in and just start popping and slugging and slugging. He could also go 12 rounds. Daniel can also go 12 rounds. Um, he does. Uh, what advantages does he have over Daniel? Well, first off, he's 35 years old, so he has all of his man strength. You know, Daniel is uh, 23 years old, so although he has great knockout power, um, he's not fully developed yet. He's, uh, he, I mean, he's already ranked number two in the world. Do, do I believe that Daniel Dubois will be the heavyweight champion of the world eventually? Absolutely. Absolutely. I believe that he will uh, take out a champ. Uh, do I believe Joe Joyce can be the champ? Yes, I do. I believe that uh, he could, uh, and I believe that that's exactly why he's fighting Daniel Dubois. I mean, he's rated number two. Joe Joyce and him 
or like at this like the same dude trying to you know claw out the same title so uh i believe that uh joe needs this a little bit more than daniel does and uh he knows it he's like i say he's 35 they're both awesome sluggers man and and i believe that uh joe's gonna throw everything out there but the kitchen sink at daniel and try to take him out of there i believe also daniel's gonna uh a little bit more disciplined and i believe that he'll probably box a little bit more and and tr and try to wait for the hap the, the knockout to happen naturally um like i say i don't know uh, joe's gonna uh he's gonna have to come out there and he's gonna have to take this kid out and if he gets a good knockout and uh i believe that you know within the next year or so he can get a shot at the title and uh you know maybe he can get he can grab a, a heavyweight title uh the great thing is 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 these guys are really big dudes and they're both in the top 10 and there's and there's nothing like the heavyweight division right now like i say uh you know anthony joshua if you're listening i don't know if you are i hope i hope you will but know this man your titles are in danger not only are they in danger from pulev because that fight's actually going to go down here uh, i believe in november but uh you know you got these other killers that are moving up you know and you still got to watch out for wilder you know once he gets over his uh his pride shot that Tyson Fury beat him. He's still out there and got some great power. He could knock anybody out in the heavyweight division right now. Deontay, I need you to get back out there, man, and, and you know stop waiting on Fury and just just go for it, man. You gotta go. You gotta get back in the mix. These other killers are moving up, and they're gonna steal your thunder, man. And you know you got what it takes to to become champ again. So I'd appreciate if uh, Deontay, you get back in the game, man. We need you. You know. Anyways, back to Daniel Dubois. I mean, this guy is something special, man. He's got the jabs. He's got the uh, stamina, and he can really hit hard. Uh, a lot of people compare him to uh, Lennox Lewis. Um, you know, I don't know how Lennox feels about him because Lennox has his own pride and, and his own things cracking and going on. But, uh, you know, I think that he will be champ one day. And, but the problem is, is he's got to get through Joel Joyce to get there. And uh, that's not going to be an easy task. I mean, this guy has experience. And, uh, I mean, he's been in there with Usyk uh, as, a, as an amateur. Um, you know, Usyk is a smaller dude. Actually, Usyk got the win on that. But uh, if, if you guys get the chance to watch, uh, I mean, even YouTube has it. Uh, Alexander Usyk versus Joe Joyce. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great fight, man. Those guys weren't even pros when they fought. But, man, it looked like they looked like pros. That was an incredible fight. But, anyways... Back to these dudes. Like I say, Joe Joyce, I dig you, man. You're a strong dude. You're a big dude. And like I say, you got to win over the former heavyweight champion of the world, Bermain Stavern. And uh, that guy was pretty tough, man. You know, he was pretty tough. And you just mowed through him like he was nothing. And uh, the good thing about this fight is I think it's like about a 50-50 fight. It can go either way. These dudes are both uh, British dudes. And it's great for, for the U.K., it's great for America. It's great for boxing. When the, when you get the best fighting the best, it's always a great day. And I can't wait to see this fight. It's coming down, uh, like I say, uh, November 28th and uh, 2020. And uh, I maybe still have some leftover turkey to, to eat, to watch it. Who knows? <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I can't wait to see this fight. And... Uh, I'm kind of hoping that, that Joe might pull this one off just because he's a, he's a little bit of an older dude and, and he could use a big win so that he could get a shot at the title. But uh, I don't know, man. Daniel's something special. So can't wait to see this fight. And it's been an honor just talking to you guys about this. And, again, this is Jason Loya with 10 Count Boxing News. And remember, after the 10 Count, you out, sucker.